Automatic Addison. In this tutorial, we will create a basic Hello World project to get your feet wet with C++ with Move It 2. I will show you how to move the end of the robotic arm where the gripper is located to a desired position and orientation. The official instructions are on the Move It 2 website, but we will walk through everything together step by step. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create this. Let's start by creating a new package for our project. Open a terminal window. And let's navigate to the MyCobot ROS2 directory in your ROS2 workspace. And here we are. And let's create a new package using the ROS2 command line tool. So I'm going to do ROS2, PKG, create, build, type, mint, CMake, dependencies. And let's do move it underscore Ross underscore planning underscore interface. Let's add RCL CPP library. Let's put a license on this. BSD three clause. The maintainer name. Ubuntu. And how about it? We put an email. We'll do maintainer email automatic Addison at to do.com. You can put whatever email address you want in there. And let's do no name. Hello underscore move it. And then do my cobot underscore move it underscore demos. Enter. And we misspelled build type. So let's go back through there and change the T to a D. There we go. Let's just check it. And it's right there. My Cobot, Cobot move it demos. So this command right that we had right here, this creates a new package called my Cobot move it demos with the necessary dependencies and a node named Hello, move it. The package is created inside here in the MyCobot ROS2 directory. Let's move inside our newly created package. Now that we have created our package, let's set up our C++ file to work with move it too. We'll start by editing the main source file. So let's go into here. Okay, and let's add some code. I'm going to go over here to downloads, MicroBot. This comes from my GitHub. You can find all this code on my GitHub. Let's open this. Let's do Control A, Control C. Okay, Control A, Control V, and copy this. So copy all that code hello move it.cpp into your new program okay and let's just talk quickly about what this code does so this code executes a plan okay if it was successful if the planning phase was successful remember in our previous tutorial we created a plan and then we did plan and execute so this actually executes the plan if the plan was successful, or it logs an error if planning failed. It also sets a target pose for the end effector, the gripper base of the robotic arm, and it plans a path to reach that target pose. 
So let's save it and close. Close out everything here. Open a new terminal window and let's CD to the workspace. It's clear. And to build the package with debug information, we'll use the following command. I'm going to do colcon build packages, select my cobot underscore move it underscore demos. So this command right here builds only our my cobot move it demos package, nothing else. Okay, and it looks like we've got an obsolete header. So it says, please use .hpp. So let's make that change now. So the compiler doesn't scream at us. We'll go back here. Let's do get it. And where is it having? Let's do HPP. Okay, and save. Okay, let's clear it again. And let's build again. Actually, first let's source and then build. Source the bash, just to refresh. Or you could also have opened a new terminal window. It's perfectly fine. And let's bang. Remember, I've got my bash RC set up that it sort so it says sources the ROS2 distribution as well as the workspace. So all of that is in a previous tutorial. So that's why I sourced the bash RC. You can also open a new terminal window. So let's build right now. See if it screams at us again. Okay, and everything is nice and clean. And remember this command builds only that one package, not everything else. And after the build is complete, we wanna source the bash RC. Source colon forward slash dot bash RC. Just to show you what's in that bash RC again, if this is, you're just jumping into this tutorial from scratch, you do get it. Bash RC. And you can see here, I am sourcing the ROS2 distribution right here, as well as the workspace. So I don't need to type all of those manually all the time. And I've also got a nice convenient build command, which CDs to the workspace, runs a Colcon build, and then sources the bash RC. We do these things to make our life easier, to make our workflow a lot more efficient. Okay, now let's go ahead and launch the controllers, Gazebo and Move Group with Arvis. So let's go down and let's find that. Okay, let's go and do bash ROS2 workspace source my cobot uh, my cobot bring up scripts my cobot 280 and we set all of this up in a previous tutorial so I am launching my my cobot 280 gazebo and move it dot sh bash script press enter Launch everything. Let it all come up. Take your time. Here we've got Gazebo and Ross and Arviz up. Looks like the logs have stopped for now. Let's open up a new terminal. And now it's time to run the program. So to do that, we do Ross to run my cobot move it demos and our node, which is hello, move it. Okay, and let's see what happened. You can see our robotic arm moved. 
Okay. So if you did everything incorrectly, your robotic arm should be at a new position now. And you can see it is in gazebo. And you can see we got a message that said, execute request accepted and execute request success. Let's check the logs over here. All looks good. See the succeeded, completed trajectory execution with status succeeded. That's exactly what you should get. And by the way, you can confirm the gripper is in the correct pose, position, and orientation by typing the following command and comparing it to the pose you set in your hello moveit.cpp file. So we're going to do ROS2 run TF2 underscore ROS, TF2 underscore echo, and then base link gripper base. And there we go. Okay, so we've got translation XYZ 0 0.061 minus point. Well, let's check our code and see if that matches up. So let's go over here to ROS2, source, my cobot, demos, source. Open this puppy up. Open with get it. Always open with get it. And you can see we expected to have a position of 0 0.061 for the X, minus 0.176 for the Y, and 0.168 for the Z. And let's check if that is the case by going over here to the terminal. We can see that the transform from the base link to the gripper base is exactly that, 0 0.061 minus 0.176 and 0 0.168. And the orientation quaternion is one and then all zeros, and that's exactly what we got over here it's exactly what we wanted right over here in the code. And you can play around with putting different numbers for your target pose for the end effector. I should mention that if you run this code without first launching the demo launch file, it will wait 10 seconds and then exit with an error message. This is because the Move It group interface looks for a node publishing the robot description topic, which is provided by the demo launch file. Let's see what else we can cover in here. So let's break down the key components of this C++ file and what's going on in here. So right here in this line, 48 and 49, okay, here is where we are uh, setting up the control interface for the robot's arm. It's like creating a special remote control that lets us send commands to move the arm. That's the move group interface creation. That's on line 49. And then down here, we're setting the target pose, the target pose, target position and orientation. We're telling the arm where we want it to go in 3D space. And down in here, we're doing the planning. We're doing all the planning, these lines below line 87. We're planning the motion. This is where the robot figures out how to move from its current position to the target that we set. It's like planning a route on a map. The robot calculates all the steps needed to go from point A to point B safely. And then finally down here in this block, execution block down here, line 100. If planning is successful, we tell the robot to actually perform the movement we plan, just like we did in the previous tutorial with Arvids, where we plan and then we execute. And if the planning failed for some reason, we just report an error instead of trying to move. These steps work all together in harmony to allow us to control the robotic arm in a safe and precise manner, moving it to exactly where we want it to go. That's it for this tutorial. Keep building.